Hawk, you stay in control and rise above it all. Weston, let's rise. Learn more at Weston.com. Sports at 15 and 45. Brad Heller, WCBS 880 Sports. Really piling up fast. The latest from Greg Allen. Hey, New York City. Geico brings you advice from your brain. Hello, I'm your brain. And I don't want to make this uncomfortable, but I'm inside your head. I'm out of sight, but in your mind. I've noticed an abundance of happy thoughts when you say money. With that in mind, I think you should switch to GEICO. Here's what I'm thinking you should be thinking. Reason why? GEICO has been around for over 75 years and has a 97% customer satisfaction rating. Reason two. The GEICO Insurance Agency can help you insure your home, apartment, or condo. And GEICO offers motorcycle, RV, and boat insurance. Reason three. GEICO is the largest auto insurer in the state. It's the local thing to do. Reason four. GEICO has a local agent in your area who can help you find savings like military or federal discounts. Reason five. I'm no brain surgeon. I am a brain. So I have some credit here. So New York City, take it from the ones who know you best.
somewhat lighter snow. That would be down in central and southern New Jersey. Lower amounts. I shouldn't say lighter snow. It'll come down hard, but lower amounts because you'll be pulling out of the storm a little bit faster than the rest of the region. But otherwise, 8 to 12 and locally more. Tonight, windy and very cold. It's in the teens. Sunny to partly cloudy tomorrow, 26 to 32. Perhaps a bit of light snow or flurries for tomorrow night. Nothing major, but it sets the stage for warmer air to come in over the weekend. 40 Saturday, wet, rainy <coughs> 40s on Sunday, and 45 to 50 on Monday. Right now in the city, 29, snowing moderate to heavily, 12 to 25 mile per hour winds. I'm Craig Allen in the WCBS Weather Center. Let's just keep going slow in the snow, Palmer. Yeah, what we're hearing from people this morning, Wayne, is that uh, it is lighter than normal out there, traffic-wise. In fact, it was described as like a, a Sunday morning out there on the roads by Sean Adams at the top of the hour. Let's go live to Long Island, see how the roads are doing now. Our WCBS reporter, Mike Zirinak, has been out. Where are you now, and what's it looking like, Mike? I'm uh, in Comac, uh, heavy wet snow falling once again. You know, I, once again, we've gone from rain to freezing rain to snow, then sleet and snow, and, uh, you know, just made for a very thick, heavy, slushy accumulation everywhere. Very dangerous out here uh, to, uh, for driving. Uh, uh, don't drive if you don't have to. I caught up with a vet. Uh, she was on her, her way to work. Her advice, don't drive, again, if you don't have to, but if you must, Slow, of course, is the word. If you want to use common sense, you're fine. If you're going to be stupid about it, you're not going to be fine. Yeah, and for a lot of drivers out here, it's not fine. Even common sense may not help you today. Spin outs, accidents are reported everywhere. Reporting live in Comac, live. Mike's Aaron, WCBS News Radio 80. On transit, you can use your bus ticket for a train on NJT. They're cross-honoring all day. The pass system operating as usual. The MTA tells us after the morning rush, they're going to be storing trains underground on the express tracks on the subway. So that will cur curtail midday express service on the subways. And bus service, they say, will be cut by at least 20% as this storm unfolds. We're hearing about a lot of empty seats on the Long Island Railroad this morning. The MTA's Aaron Donovan says so far, so good on both the LA and on Metro North. We have to make adjustments, so we would be able to do that. But the plan for now is to run a weekday schedule on Metro North and along Island Railroad throughout the day. Is there a magic number?